we're challenging a tanker at the moment. It's us or him. You know, that's the way I look at it. Playing chicken with tankers. Check out the size of this thing here. It's right in front of us. Probably the camera doesn't do it justice. He's heading straight into the canal and we saw him pull out and I was like, oh, I better slow down. Don't want to hit him. It's just like, who am I kidding? That thing is so much faster than our boat and look at the size of it, right? I'm amazed at the speed of these boats. When he gets to the canal, he's got to stop, right? Like the stopping power. To think that he's going that fast into the canal, it blows my mind, really. Because does he start breaking now to get to the lock? I don't know, but it's pretty impressive. I never knew that their braking speed was as good as they are because the fact that he's going so fast into that canal, amazing. We picked up the fenders, we're heading to back to the boat. I've got them all sort of stacked up on the boat here. A little bit of a tricky little exit here. I've got the fenders all tied to the outside of the boat because there's no room for me. I got six fenders, massive fenders, ready to go. And four massive lines. Then we're heading back to the boat. The protests have really ramped up ever since there was that shooting in uh, Cham Chamay, I think it was called. And it's getting very difficult to move around Panama right now because of that. It's, uh, like I say, it's ramped up the situation here. Weather is looking, I think, 60% chance of rain when we go through the canal. So that's going to be fun. My ass is getting so wet. Bouncy, bouncy. The bouncy castle on the side here. Feeling a little bit nervous about the crossing, trying not to let the protests sort of paint what's going on. I mean, this is quite a cool thing that we're doing, going through the canal. So we're very excited about going through the canal. There's going to be no provisioning on the other side, so we've got lots of provisioning done. Tomorrow we're going to move into the marina. We're going to have the line handlers stay on the boat tomorrow night. So that's going to be interesting. We have four guys on the boat. I imagine they're going to be all guys. A nice meal tomorrow night. They're coming on about 10 o'clock, I think. The plan is, is that they'll come a little bit earlier in the evening, well, 10 o'clock at night. Only you just pick them up in the morning, but because of the protests, we're having to pick them up in the evening. It's amazing how when life throws adversity at you, like the protests have really been quite challenging. We haven't been able to do what we want to do as much. But not to worry. And that's pretty much the update. Tonight we were being called by the signal control for our timing and I went to click cord on the GoPro and the battery was dead. So I changed the battery over and then they called me on the radio to say that we're going to go through the canal. Tomorrow morning we're going through the canal. A bit nervous about the canal. 0615 is our time. We're going to meet the pilot. We have four line handlers coming to the boat tonight. 
they're gonna sleep two in the v-berth one here and one over there and we have to be at the anchorage probably at least 45 minutes ahead of time so we have to be there at 5 30. we're going through the canal tomorrow good times